So we're catching up with uh, the Stones captain, George Elakobi. George, it was such a long, long summer, wasn't it? Obviously, we finished the, uh, the season abruptly in, uh, in mid-March. How did you keep yourself ticking over in that time? Well, it was quite, quite strange to start off with, um, not knowing if football was going to be back anytime soon. I know it's taking a long, a long while for, for us to get, to get back um, training. Um, it was tough to start with um, when we went into, into the lockdown. And I sort of made up my mind straight away when football came to a halt that I wasn't going to stop. Um, I respected the government's um, rules of the one hour window where you could go out and exercise. And I tried to, to keep myself ticking over um, in a very sensible and smart way. And that's what, that's what it's kept me in good state. And then when the lockdown was lifted, um, I started doing a bit more than more, 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 more training than uh, more training like I wanted to do um, before. Um, and, and it was fantastic to, to actually see the result that I was getting in terms of how I train and I sort of like tweaked my training a little bit, my training regime a little bit, I adjusted it. As you grow older, you need to adjust your, your training uh, methods and, and it's worked fantastic for me. So because we're three weeks out from the, the season proper starting, so you must be feeling pretty good in yourself now. Yeah, I feel, I feel amazing. I feel really, really good, um, you know, health-wise. Which is which is very important, but also um, ability-wise, I feel excellent, um, and it felt like I've never I've not been away from last season. You know, I'm just carrying on from where where I left off. Hopefully, we can have a, a fantastic season. Now in terms of the the first team, you've, you've been back in now for about uh, three weeks. How's it gone? How how you find it? Obviously, there's quite a few familiar faces um, within that setup. A few new ones as well. How's it all gelling for you? Yeah, it's gelled really well. Um, my role as, as club captain is obviously to to make the, the new players feel as as, as welcome as, as possible, um, to be open to them and also to to lead by example, show them our philosophy here at Maystone United Football Club. We are a close nick um, football club um, and Hakan is brought in the right characters with um, with Terry, they've identified the right characters and, and obviously we've had these additions and hopefully it could be one or two more before the season starts. But for now, you know, the, the team spirit is, is amazing. Everyone is getting, getting on really well with, with each other. But it's not just off it. It's on the football training ground as well. When we train, it's kind of like learning how to, to play with, with each other, knowing what each other's strengths and weaknesses are. And we try to, to hold each other accountable in a very professional manner. And that's what um, winning is all about, having that winning culture and, you know, a happy camp. But everyone is settled in really, really well, including the trialists that are here. Um, they come in every day, they feel a part of us, we feel a part of them. And we all know everyone is not going to be given a deal because that's, that's how football goes. But again, make this place a home for everyone um, when, we, when we are training and also when we want to socialise, which we haven't done that because of the, the rules you know, with, the, with the pandemic. But when we do train, we we train and train well with each other, but also it's been a fantastic um, addition, not just with the players, but um, Terry Harris is coming as well. Um, a fantastic coach, and he's, he's helping, he's helping um, the manager out, Hakan, and, and it's just fantastic to have, you know, this new energy into, into the building. You know, it's a breath of fresh air for everybody. It seems, just observing some of the sessions, the, the, sheer, the sheer joy that players that you know as you know six months out is a long time wasn't it and everyone just seems to be so keen to get back to it and get back to these competitive games which start very soon yeah um but um you know everyone was so excited the first day we came back into 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 pre-season which was on a saturday everyone just wanted to get get into it and how the, the, the players were saying how much they've missed it and it just shows you know almost six months it's been it's been a long time but you know it's always good to know that we are back training again, and the players were so excited to to put on their football boots to be out here on the on the training on the training pitch to to start you know building their fitness up. And everyone was so sometimes you can mistake that for a bit of um, anxiety when people get too anxious. It becomes um, they become an, an, um, the anxiety creeps in. But again, we, we can forgive everyone for that. It's been a long time, so it's been a steady build up um, in pre-season. 
up to this very point, like you said, almost three weeks, three weeks from now, the season will be starting, hopefully, fingers crossed. And by then, hopefully, we will be ready as a football club. But yeah, everyone is, everyone is excited to, to come into training every day um, when we are here training. So it's been good. Also, you've got the, the management teams in place, the players in place there or thereabouts, so you say a few new ones coming in, but the one thing still missing, and obviously this is a non-match day, but this will potentially be the scene on a match day in that we've got empty stands around us. How much are you hoping that we can get spectators back in the ground for that FA Cup match on the 3rd of October, if it should be here? Yeah, if, it, if it's here, it'll be fantastic to, to have the fans back. They've been our 12, our 12 men here at the Galiga and away, and um, they were fantastic with us as a football club, as a football team. They supported us through thick and thin last season. Um, and it won't be the same without the fans. So we really hope the fans, some of the fans can start coming in and supporting us and also um, enjoy, enjoy the football, the football match as they normally do. Um, we all know how much when we get those three points on board or we get a, a win on board, how exciting the fans get here. And we, want, we would love to see that feeling again. Um, but we just have to keep our fingers crossed and hopefully this is, this is possible. And finally, a, a, new, uh, a new role for you this season, as well as, of course, the club captaincy role you've got with the first team. Uh, we've also parachuted you in to, uh, to train up the next generation at the, uh, at the academy. Tell us how that's been going. Oh, um, it's a first, first and foremost thanks to, to, to the owners here for trusting in me. Um, I had a taste of it last season and knowing myself, when I start something, I want a little bit more. Every every time, every now and again, I want a little bit more. But it's been it's been a breath of fresh air. The younger generation, they are the future of this football club, and I'm I'm, I'm quite humbled to have been entrusted by by the owners here um, to to actually give me that opportunity and the role I've got to play here at Meston United Football Club with um, the academy alongside with um, with Jim and and the under-23 managers and, and Bradley, um, who I, I think have been terrific in terms of introducing me to, into, the, into the fold of things here, how it works and, you know, we keep, you keep learning and it's a learning curve for myself, but also, you know, the experience I bring to, to the table and, and, you know, the knowledge is vital for this younger generation and I try every day when I've, when I've got sessions with, with these players, with the, with, the, with the academy players, to make sure they try to take something home with them. It's not just um, you know, coaching them on the football pitch, but also is being that role model and advising them off the football pitch as well, because it does help out. And it's a role that I cherish, and hopefully um, I'm going to grow in it, um, more competent, and, and, and we'll see where that takes me. But for now, fantastic. I'm enjoying it and, and the players are enjoying it as well.